Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Odin Sphere Leifthrasir. Last time we finished up Chapter 3 of Cornelius' story, where we were pursuing the imposter who was pretending to be us, and it turned out it was Velvet's twin brother Ingwe? Yeah, that was weird. But, I think it's time to hop right into Chapter 4, and let's see what's going on next. I'm very intrigued. Let's continue the Puka Prince. Where is it going to put us now? Because I don't even know where we're going. Oh, back in the Titania capital. Ooh. Hey, bud. Uh, I mean you no harm. Hey! Are you some kind of goblin? I'll throw you into prison! Prison? Doesn't matter where I am. If I'm like this... I'm just as alone as I was in the netherworld. Oh yeah, and he did say though he had nothing to do with tossing us in the netherworld, so there's a lot more going on here. It looks like the war between Ragnanibal and Ringford is still going. I hear many have died. They say the demon lord's daughter is dead too. The girl who worried for me. Halia. You should have taken my miserable life instead. Okay, so we've caught up to at least the start of Gwendolyn's tale. Actually, wait a second. Was it there? Yeah. I remember you can click this. Ah, and it tells you the chronological order. So we start with, you know, Cornelius here at the beginning. He's one of the first things happening. And it was his chapter three took place around the same time as uh, Gwendolyn's prelude. So it was Griselda who just died. Okay, if you're ever curious, I guess I can check that. I totally forgot until this moment that that was something I saw way back when. What's wrong, long-eared one? Take a look and liven up my business. Hmm, do you have anything I actually want? You do not. I wonder, should I sell anything? Hmm. I get tons of materials. I can chuck a couple of those. Don't need quite all these healing tonics. I'll hold on to the rest of the spells, because... I'm sure I can find uses for them, but let's store the gourmet ring. As nice as it seems, I don't really need it right now. In honor of the king's recent domestic troubles, I'm having a sale. Oh my gosh. Um, I might as well buy a couple of these things because. I'm sure they'll be useful for cooking. Let's actually toss them... Oh, wrong thing. Well, still store it. Let's toss these in the box. Alright, where are we headed to next? Apparently Winterhorn Ridge! Enemy level 15. Yeah, we should be able to handle that no problem. Back in the alleyways. Oh, this guy! Prince! Am I hearing things? Someone called me Prince. But alas, I am no Prince. I am but a beast. I am Urza, the court magician. I am a sorcerer. I recognize the spell that has been put on you. Spells, spells, spells. All you spellcasters should be burned at the stake. Please, be rational, Prince. Tis my wish to help you, but my powers alone are insufficient to the task. The king pays no attention to my words. What do you want from me? If you care so much, resign. I have no response to your harsh words. But I have an ingenious plan. I thought I could share with you. Prince, do you know of Hindle, the dragon that lives atop the snow-capped mountain? Hindle? 
I have heard the name. They say he knows all and can see the future. A dragon that wise should know something about your curse. But to ask a dragon is a daunting task. Just meeting one is frightening. Please, forget my rambling. I should not have mentioned it. No. Let's go. Any hope is better than none. Even in the worst case, my hollow and empty life will come to an end. What do you know? Complete opposite of what I predicted. He actually wants to help us. He wasn't behind this. That's a nice little twist. Head for the mountaintop and ask the Oracle Dragon Hindel about the curse. And we are up here in the icy area. Give me some good stuff. Step juggler level two. Sure. Might be useful. For now though, it's time to fight some mini trolls. I really should take the time to figure out how to do that charge up attack. I've done it enough times that I know it's not just, or I'm pretty sure it's not just pure random, but I can't do it on command precisely. Alright, you guys. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Take them all out? Yes. Wow. Piddling rewards from here. Just money and grape seeds. Wow, we got a straight shot. Hmm. Yeah, I guess straight shot through for the moment. Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cute. Entry has been updated. Excavation guide. Use magic potions. Blaze may be too hot for a campfire even in colder regions, but is perfect for melting ice walls. Cyclone can cool down molten lava and clear away debris in your path. Volcano can open holes in cracked walls in place of using bombs. Hmm. An excerpt from the log of a dwarven exploration team. Records indicate they uncovered the remains of a Valentinian aerial battleship and restored it, refitting it for the Aesir's use. That would be the airship we have fought. Interesting. Ice wall looks thin and breakable. Nah, not gonna be able to cut through it. So what did they say? Use blaze? Uh, it's over here. That's actually pretty neat. Oh, I should have grabbed the uh, whatchamacallit? The Fozons. Nothing up here. Hello, trolls. Okay, when going up the hill here, that side circle move just runs along the path, and I kind of love it. I don't need you getting in my way. Okay, that was actually kind of really satisfying. Let's see what's down below? Oh. Darn it. It's a one-way path. Ah, oh, tricksy, tricksy little path. Well, you know what? Oop, wrong button. While I'm here, let's glance and see where the snowmen stare. Okay. We should absolutely keep an eye out for if we run into some snowmen. And yeah, I guess we're stuck going down here. Should be pretty easy though, taking care of all these. If you group up, it would actually make my life so much easier. Yeah, there you go. You guys look like you're built. I was gonna say building a snowball to throw at me, and I don't like it. And how many of these guys are there? Sheesh. I say that and more appear. I think this might be the last one. 
Perfect. S rank. Yes. Oh, what's this? Ice spirits. Two turnies. Interesting. It's funny that, you know, even though it told us those as ingredients, you know, or mixtures, you know, in other text archives, it's kind of neat that it... They get their own dedicated one. Ooh, Rosemail. Ah, uh, yes. Grapes are definitely worth it. Let's plant a couple of those. If nothing else, it'll get me some grape stems that I can, you know, use juggler on in a bit. That should be good. Get them grown to f ah. <laughs> I was gonna say fruitition, but no. There we go, grapes. And I'll check with Mori in a second. But first, give me the area map. Hey, I saw you in town. A troll chased you here, right? Why not buy a warming potion? You'll freeze without some. Tempting oh, fresh onion soup. Not something I'm really a fan of in real life, but it sounds like that would be real warming here in the cold area. Hey, why you know what? Let's see. Muggle seed. Okay, absolutely buy some cheese. Buy four of it. I um, don't think I need any of the other stuff, so let's buy these. I forgot that I can buy, you know, cheese and recipes at the same time. Oh, onion, hot cross bun, and cheese. Well, I'm glad I bought some cheese. Let's store it. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think... Those I specifically want out so I can eat them. Let's call Mori, shall we? Hey, Mori, what specials you got? You know, let me in on a secret. Puka to puka. Welcome to Mori's Touring Restaurant. I am honored you have summoned me again. Huh? A new recipe. Allow me to add it to the menu. I've discovered a new recipe. Wait, have I already made that joke? What do you want? Yeah, I'm sure I have. Uh... French onion soup, let's... Ooh, 3,400, that's nice. Let's see what all we can do. Pancakes. Another omelet, cheese omelet. Let's absolutely do some French onion soup. And I could buy a couple more hot cross buns. I think this guy sold them. Unless I'm thinking of the previous vendor. Man, that actually looks really good. Uh, you know what? Let's see if I can go buy two hot cross buns from him. Because if so, I'll get the full bonus for two more cookings of that. I don't remember if you sold it or if it was the hey, vendor in town. It was the vendor in town. Alright. Let's do some cheese omelets then. Oops. Wrong button. Okay, Mori. Omelet me. We got enough for... Yeah, we got enough for two of those. Honestly, don't know if we've cooked any yet with Cornelius, so this will tell us. Oh, yeah. Will that be all? Oh, I just realized, looking at it, it says bonus one, two, or three exclamations. That must be how many more you can get out of it. So, yeah, let's get another one. And it should reduce it down to one exclamation. Oh, so close. Yeah, okay, cool, good to know. Well, that's actually a neat little thing. If I've got three exclamations, I know I haven't cooked it at all in this character. All right, you know what? Let's eat a bunch of these. This will get me easily a level up. 
maxed out. Now, it's not going to give me two level ups, but hey, it'll get me more HP. That'll make the going just a little bit easier. And I wonder... Oh, good, I can check the map while eating. Okay. So we got a little loop around down below there. Then... Oh, wow, we've got... That little section up there is a one-off area. Hmm. Let's pick up my seeds. I'm going to... Let's cut through here and run real quick back to the area I dropped down. Because I totally should not have done that. I should have stayed up top. I would cut ahead, but... Ooh, hello. Cornelius just runs so fast. I mean... You can just cut right through. Okay, stay up top. You also are a good reason I'm up here. Okay, you guys. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of fun, if I'm being honest. Get a treasure chest here. What did I learn? Recipe, maybe? <gasps> Noki! Milk and egg. Cool. And then we drop down. Let's plant a couple muggles. Oop, I meant to do a couple. And that should be enough to get everything growing. I love the random rose miles you find that just provide you with free fosons for plants. No, come back! Whoa. Did not mean to drop all the way down? Well, sure, in that case, I'll do a couple. Uh, yeah. Add 12 of my own. This game's, like, multitude of systems are rather fascinating to me. There's just so many different interlocking systems together. Oh, I guess the one that fell down is just gone. Oh, wait, no. Did I see it up there? Hey, it did come through to this area. Well, nice, not wasted. Now, let's go down to the left. Because I want to get everything... I want to fully explore every single map. Treasure chest up here somewhere? Oh! Hi guys! How's it going? Can you do me a favor and just impale yourselves on my sword? That'd be great, thanks. Now there's a... I would say there's a treasure chest somewhere in this zone. Ah, up top here. Cheese! I'll take it. Another battle stage. Well, hello, Griffin! They... The enemy designs are just so... Cool. Well, that's neat. I don't think I realized that exactly before, but this side attack, I can kind of jump out of it to cancel it early. Oh, I'm, like, frozen. Is that good enough, or... There we go. That was a weird battle arena. The only real enemy was the Griffin. But, hey, we get a new ability. Let's take a look. And actually, did we have one that we got at the end of last episode I haven't shown off? I should take a glance at that. Okay, Reverse Claw... Forward jump to the edge of the screen into a reverse attack. Well, that'll be interesting to try out. Sure. Alright, enhance that. And streak slash. Right, I did not try that one either. Let's try those both out. Streak slash and... Alright, they're... They're both... Power move. So let's just try it here. Reverse claw. Whoa. That was neat. I like both of those. Hmm. 
You know what, Streak Slash, I'm gonna actually change out Spiral Claw. And Reverse Claw, I'm gonna change out for, uh, for my down move. Let's give those a try and, you know. Hmm, actually, let's swap those. Reverse Claw gets to be the side. Because this is the one that's gonna be on the ground. Gonna be... Wait. Yeah, Streak Slash is the one that's gonna be down. Cool. Also, I see you up here hiding treasure chest. You cannot get away from me. Not that I really need some warmer, but you know what? I won't say no to free stuff. Hit up here. Whoa. Okay, he runs so fast, the screen was like blurring beside me. You again! Let's absolutely turn on some shockers. Alright, that Streak Slash is definitely most useful for groups. I should remember that. Do I have a Blaze I can use on you? No, but let's use an Overload. Oh. Okay, that's nice. Man, we're just bodying him. He's already half dead. Down to his last health bar? No, not quite. But soon. Okay, seriously. He's just not able to do a thing. Maybe it's a little cheap to be spamming the circle lightning balls, but I do not care. It's too good. What? Haha! <laughs> Finish him off with that crazy jump move, why not? Give me some good stuff. Talisman. I wonder. I think I've seen that before and I don't... Yeah, recovery from bad effects 30% up. It's good defense, but I don't really need it. Where are we headed? We want to go up. Now, let's see... Little empty room. Oh, hey guys! Haha! <laughs> Leap out of the way and come back to blast them. It's kind of cool how just this, you know, these basic rooms can have so much varied appearances. Interesting. Just a few of these scattered around. It's a very weird battle arena. Ooh, ow. No, break free, break free. Was that it? That was a weird one, but we did manage to eke out an S rank. Head to the right, and... Oh, there's a trial over there. Ooh, I kind of want to go do that. Let's see. Here, here. Come back here. You're mine. I feel a little bad. Ah, uh, there was another one. There we go. Smacking them around, but at the same time, if you leave them be, they kind of punch you in the face. This is weird and interesting. Is that another Cubs Bane? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm, I'm out of item space. Let's eat some food. And then turn some grape stems into something else. And then I figure I'll definitely go try out this trial stage. Should be a good way to wrap up this episode with the timing we're looking at here. Oh, 777. Oh, I thought that's what we were going to finish with. That would have been so funny. Now, let's just head down. Oh, a bone. We can absolutely juggle that. 
Let's see what's in all these boxes before I use the juggler. Alright, we're good. Let's head down. Now, I want to... Why not drop a material... Drop a couple of these. Alright. Let's cast Juggler. Quick Charge, Healing Tonic, and a whole bunch of healing stuff. Or, food stuff. Cool! What is Quick Charge, anyway? Is that PP Restore? No, increase POW's auto recovery speed and lowers power cost. That'll be good for spamming in the trial room. Ice wall looks. Oh, I gotta make a. Um, I gotta make a blaze. Is that Habaneristo? Yeah. Works for me. Level 21. Well, we're 24. We can handle it. Powerful foe time. Let's use Lucky Mix and Quick Charge. Come here, guys. Oh, two of these, huh? Well, I am absolutely going to be spamming this attack. Okay, look at the HP drop. Oh, man. Yes, stay together. Okay, Blaze. Yes, this is going to be perfect with you just stuck in one place. No, no, no. Go back over here. Yes, yeah, stay in the fire. Oh, man. You know what? I should do, like, a whirlwind or something. I think I've got... I've got whirlwind and volcano. Let's, let's use a volcano and a toxin, because that'll really hit them hard. Oh! Crazy, crazy effects going across the screen. I did not mean to use that attack again so soon. We got one of them down. Now we just keep up the hurt and he will be down in no time. And why not? Do that move to finish him off again. Nice. Get some milk and another one of those miracle fruits. Is there anything hiding in here? Nope, we're good. I think let's head back to that checkpoint, shall we? Because we just... It seems like a good place to hang out and wrap this up. What is this? Oh no, that's where I entered this zone from. Anything up high? Alright, we still haven't found those snowmen, but... I figure the rest of this shouldn't take too long. We'll hit that up next episode. Uh, let's see. Oop, wrong button. I want to get this guy. Anything I want to do with this stuff before we go? Nah, we're good on that. So, next time, we're going to continue climbing the mountain. Hopefully, find the dragon Hindel. And maybe he'll have a way of curing our Puka curse. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.